Good Sunday morning, and thank you guys for tuning in to another Diecast Emporium video. If you saw my large unboxing video um, that I posted a couple days ago, I asked you guys in the community to post which of the new Diecast Masters models you wanted to see compared to their predecessor. And one of them was the Norscott D5K2 LGP track type tractor or bulldozer in 1 to 50 scale. So let's go ahead and get into the review. So obviously the Norscott one comes in your typical Norscott box, like that. Your clear windowed box, black and yellow, nothing really all that spectacular. However, the updated Diecast Masters version is part of their Highline series, meaning that it comes in the collectible tin. So allow me to see if I can get this entire thing in the frame. There it is. Very, very good looking picture of it on the actual top of the tin. On the side, or on the back, I should say, your machine specification details, and yet another picture. And if we turn it around, it just has a picture of the model itself. Interesting to note, though, that the picture in the model, or I'm sorry, the picture on the side of the Diecast Masters box is actually the Norscott version, and I'll tell you why you can tell here in just a second. So, with the boxes out of the way, let's dive straight into the models. Both of these are very, very good small bulldozer models. Um, I believe the Norscout one came out around 2012 or 2013. Starting out with the original, there is a good range of motion left to right when you're tilting the blade. The tracks do roll really, really well in either direction, but the really, really negative point about the Norscout one was, at least on mine, the ripper does not stay in the up position. So, has Diecast Masters fixed that issue? Well, yes, they have. And in addition, the ripper can go much deeper. Obviously, you have your operator in the cab, as you will see on all the Diecast Masters models. If you look closely, the side of the engine has a little bit of detail. It's really, really hard to see, but there are really fine painted uh, circles instead of just leaving the panels blank. So it's really hard to tell. I'm trying to get the light correct, but the Norscott one is blank. This one has a lot more detail. Also looking straight on, and because it's difficult to tell, but the Diecast Masters exhaust faces straight out. So as you can see, it's facing straight towards you in the camera. However, the original one is offset to the right a little bit. But really, other than that, the models are very similar. Very good little bulldozers to own. Um, they're very inexpensive for a bulldozer of this size. And quite honestly, I really just like the LGP dozers. So with all that being said, both of these models are highly recommended. If I had to choose one over the other one, obviously I would choose the Diecast Masters version, just because of the improved functionality of the Ripper mechanism itself. So as always, guys, thank you for tuning in. Enjoy your day off tomorrow, and we'll see you in the next Diecast Emporium video. Take care.